didn't take very long for the snow to start causing problems. Once it started, accidents are being reported and traffic is moving slowly everywhere. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Dable is out in Lackawanna County. He joins us live from Moscow with more now. Eric. Nick, good evening. Yeah, we're here along Route 435 in the Moscow area. As you can see, it is snow covered, but still passable. Trucks and cars going a little bit slower than normal. Now, the snow has been coming down here for several hours. I'm going to actually have my photographer, Joey, pan down if he can. We have about three to four inches of snow on the ground here right now at the five o'clock hour. Now, we did, uh, as we mentioned, uh, see some trouble on the roads. In fact, a plow truck right at the intersection uh, near us for 35 and 690 actually had trouble getting traction, so you definitely have to take it slow on the roads. Now it's been snowing for about three hours here in Lackawanna County, which means that schools in this area were able to get a half day in before being dismissed today. Even before the first flake started to fall, school districts across northeastern Pennsylvania started calling for early dismissals. At Francis Willard Elementary in West Scranton, kids got out of class at 1130 and parents were happy that administrators erred on the side of caution. If they get to be safe and not have to worry about snow drop offs, then I'm OK with that. I'd rather pick them up now when there's no snow on the ground than slide into it. Shortly after the elementary schools in Scranton let out, it was the intermediate and high school's turn. Many adults say seeing a plowable snowstorm before Thanksgiving isn't something they like. I am not looking forward to the snow yet. It is way too early for this and too cold. I missed the last couple of years. It's been in the 70s almost until Christmas. So as for the kids who got out early, they didn't seem to mind one bit. I think it should be really fun. You get excited for the snow? Yep. What are you going to do? I'm going to play in it and I'm going to throw snowballs at everybody's face. Now, as we mentioned earlier, PennDOT does have 45 mile an hour speed limit restrictions on most major roadways in northeastern and central Pennsylvania. That includes interstates 80, 81, 84 and 380 here in the northeastern part of the Commonwealth, as well as interstates 80 and 180 out in the central part of the state. We're live tonight in Moscow, Lackawanna County. Eric Dable, Eyewitness News. Better to just stay inside. That's for sure. Best advice. Eric, thank you. Pima and PennDOT.